Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a scrotal hydrocele, biocele. The purulent fluid collection generally arises from communication between the infected testicle or testicle, testicular abscess and an existent, existing hydrocele through the mesothelial lining of the tunica vaginalis. You can see the right kidney and it looks echomeconormal. Blood flow is also seen. Hydrocele is defined as fluid surrounding the testicles, which is usually simple, anechoic, and without layering debris. If septation significant layering or debris are visualized during the scanning then the diagnosis of complex hydrocele is made and either pyocele or hematocele are considered you can see the blood flow in the right testes is normal echo normal the cogency of the testicular parenchyma is also normal now you are going to see the left testicle and it shows a large pyocele. You can see a significant amount of thick, thick sludge and debris in the fluids present in the, around the testicle. Now this testicle measures about 28.9 into 26.2 millimeter, which is normal. Now you are going to see the gut loops in the upper portion of the testes as the aguanal hernia has also developed in this pyocene. This is hydrocele pyocele. A non communicating hydrocele usually remains the same size or has a very slow growth. Now you can see this gut, these gut loops. inside this fluid coming from the upper side that is a iguanal hernia right a uh, left iguanal hernia if a communicating adrocele doesn't go away on its own and is not treated it can lead to an iguanal hernia as you can see in this case in this condition, part of the intestine or intestinal fat pushes through the opening iguanal canal into the groin area. You can see in this case also the iguanal hernia has developed. Hydrocele can occur in one or both sides of the scrotum and usually grows slowly. This kind of hydrocele doesn't get bigger or smaller. Communicating hydrocele, a communicating Hydrocele can form at any age but is more common in infants and children. This kind of hydrocele gets bigger and smaller. The scrotum is the sac of skin that holds the testicles. Once they descend, this can cause fluid to move from the abdomen into the scrotum. Hydrocele can also be caused by inflammations or injury to the scrotum or along the channel. The inflammation may be caused by an infection, epididymitis or another condition. Now you can see an epididymal cyst in the head of the epididymis. The cause of this pyocele hydrocele is not known in most cases. A small number of hydrocele are caused when something is wrong with one of the testicles, for example infection, inflammation, injury or tumors of the testicles may cause fluid 
to be formed which can lead to a docile forming. Again you can see the fluid as well as the gut loops. The fluid is thick and turbid having multiple internal echoes and gut loops are showing that inguinal hernia has developed. Hydrocele is an abnormal collection of fluid between the visceral and parietal layers of the tunica vaginalis and are along the spermatic cord. In the normal scrotum, 1 to 2 ml of serous fluid may be observed in the potential tunica vaginalis cavity and should not be mistaken for hydrocele. The fluid can be drained easily with a needle and syringe. However, following this procedure, it is common for the sac of the hydrocele to refill with fluid within a few months. Draining every now and then may be suitable though if you are not fit for surgery or if you do not want an operation. Often an hydrocele, a hydrocele will resolve itself without treatment. However, the hydrocele grows larger. It can cause swelling, pain and discomfort in the scrotum and may need, need surgical repair. A hydrocolectomy removes the fluid and shrinks the size of the sac formerly containing the fluid. Now you can see the epididymal cyst, the gut loops forming the aguanal hernia and the hydrocele pyocele of the left testicle. The blood flow of the left testicle was decreased. You can see the blood flow outside the testicle. But testes have minimum blood flow. Now you can see the epididymal cyst also. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Again, you can see the blood flow. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.